Hi there, welcome to Dolan Bikes. My name's John. Today I'm going to be talking with you how to unbox and assemble your brand new Dolan Atap SL carbon road bike. A couple of things you're going to need for this build. First things first is a 4mm Allen key and a pair of scissors to cut away all the bits of tape and stuff. A couple of things that are optional for this build but not essential is a bike stand and a torque wrench. So as usual, step one is fairly self-explanatory. We're going to cut away the tape using the scissors so we can open up the box. There we go. That should just lift up there now. Right, so here we go, this is what your attach should look like as soon as you open the box. Straight away you're going to be able to notice that your bars need attaching, your seat posts need attaching, that can be located just down here next to the rear wheel, and your front wheel needs attaching. Something else also worth mentioning is that your quick release for your front wheel is located here, just taped to this part of the box. That's just there so it doesn't roll around or and scratch anything on the bike, nor does it um, push through the cardboard or rip the cardboard at all, um, being attached to the front wheel. We're just going to leave it there for now, until we do the front wheel, because we are going to start with the seat post. So in order to get your seat post in, what you're going to do is take this bit of cardboard off the bike first, just like this, nice and easy, pop it to one side, then you should be able to reach in a better access to your seat post down below. It could be worth just lifting the rear wheel up slightly, so you can get it out a bit easier. There we go. And the first thing you're going to notice is your seat post clamp is taped to your seat post. What we're going to do is cut that away, nice and carefully. Take the tape off there. And with the attack, the seat clamp goes in first, so just pop the post to one side. In order to attach your seat post, just pop the clamp in there. Grab your seat post and your four mil Allen key, because it could be worth using the Allen key just to keep the seat clamp out of the way of the post. There we go. And just tighten that up with your four mil Allen key again. There we go. And that should have a maximum torque setting of five and a half Newton meters as well, for those of you with the torque wrench. There we go. So there's your seat post attached. So now that your seat post is attached, you can do the part we've all been waiting to do, that is taking the bike out of the box. Here we go. So here we are, ladies and gents, your tap SL is nice and secure, out of the box, ready for further assembly. So what we're gonna do next is take our scissors and cut away all the bits of tape and bubble wrap surrounding the bike. We do suggest using scissors for this bit rather than a blade or a knife, because that way you're at less risk of scratching the frame. So, we can now bask in the glory of our ETAP's semi-built splendor, but it is still only semi-built, and therefore the next step is gonna to be to attach these bad boys right here, our handlebars. For this, you're gonna need your four mil Allen key. You're gonna take off each of these four stem bolts here, pop your bars, bars on, make sure they're adjusted correctly, not tilting too far upwards or downwards. Then you're gonna tie them up, each of the four bolts again, to a maximum of five Newton meters. So, your handlebars have been attached, seat post has been attached, but they've only been hand tightened up to now. So now it's time to take our trusty torque wrench and tighten all of those bolts up to five Newton meters. With the stem bolts, it's important you just do one rotation at a time 
neat screw, there's one. That way, you're gonna tighten them a bit more evenly and you're not gonna risk damaging your handlebars. There's two. There's three. And there's four, right? So we're gonna go to do the seat clamp now. And there we go. So far the parts you've attached are nice and secure in the bike and now it's time for your front wheel. So here we go, once the front wheel is out of the box, that should be the box emptied now. We do suggest keeping hold of the box and all the bits just for the time being rather than discarding it straight away. Now to attach your front wheel, what you're gonna to need to do is take the quick release, which would still be sellotaped to this part of the box at this point, and pop it in your front wheel so we can then attach it to the bike. Let's take that out of the box there. Untape this here, nice and simple. Pop this box to one side. Make sure you take the end cap and the spring off. Here we go. Nice and simple in there, put the spring on, put the end cap on. There we go. So now when it comes to fitting it to the bike, it's important to ensure this switch and your front brake caliper is all the way open so that your brakes are as wide as possible so your front wheel can fit in much easier. And then this little bit should just unclip. There we go, nice and easy. And then now you can pop your front wheel in your bike. There we go. Once the wheel's in, just close the switch again. And there you go, front wheel's in. So here we go. Your Dolan Patapa SL carbon road bike is all set up and ready to ride. You've got your seat post clamp all secure, nice and torqued up for you. The four stem bolts, again, nice and secure with the bars nice and level. And the quick release should be tightened up to a point where it's, the wheel's not swaying side to side while spinning. If you've got any further questions or need any further information regarding the ATAP SL, you can find the link to it that will take you directly to our website in the description below. If you need any further information than that, please don't hesitate to contact us via email or phone and we will do our best to assist you in any way we can. Thank you so much for watching, enjoy riding your new bike!